Hi, this is Sean from One With Nature, and today I am on the island of Bonaire in the Dutch Caribbean. And in this video, I want to talk about adrenal fatigue. Adrenal fatigue is everywhere. Unfortunately, it's so common that nobody thinks they have it. It's like a fish that's in water, but it doesn't understand what, that it's in water because it's so common. Nobody thinks they have adrenal fatigue, but if you look around you and you understand the signs of adrenal fatigue, it's everywhere. It's just that the words adrenal fatigue sound so drastic that nobody, everybody thinks, well, that can't possibly be happening to me, but it is. Why? Well, if you're watching this in the United States, the American people are absolutely stressed to the eyeballs. Their nervous systems are fried. We don't get enough restful sleep. We need nine hours of restful sleep every night. We have a terrible diet and we drink too much coffee and energy drinks which destroy the adrenals and your nervous system. So this video is going to be a quick fix for your adrenals. What do your adrenals need? What do they need to be rebuilt? Number one, food-based vitamin C. Papayas, mangoes, kiwis. Here's your papaya. I got this yesterday in a nice store here on the island. This is a small papaya. They're about two, two and a half times larger than this in the store. But I didn't want to lug that around with me. Mango. All right. You want to start eating mangoes and kiwis. Kiwis are a good source of vitamin C. Another good source of vitamin C is uh, acerola cherry, which I was visiting an herbalist, an amazing herbalist. This guy's probably the most amazing herbalist I've ever met. I don't use that term lightly. And he had an, uh, an acerola cherry bush growing on his property, among many other medicinal plants. But my favorite source of vitamin C is omla berry. Omla berry has a lot of polyphenols inside of it, antioxidants that keep the vitamin C content from degrading. Vitamin C degrades in heat, light, and moisture. You can take a bag of omla berry, a bag of ground up dried omla berry, and it can sit on the shelf of your kitchen cupboard for two and a half, three years, and it's still going to have a good amount of vitamin C in it. So you want to take a half a teaspoon of the omla berry a few times a day just to make sure you're getting that vitamin C. Number two, pantothenic acid. This is bee pollen purchased from a health food store here on the island. This is wafers. This comes in wafers. Uh, I prefer the actual, the least processed the bee pollen is, the better. This is, this is just a wafer. And that's not bad. The reason I prefer the bee pollen is because not only are you getting the pantothenic acid, vitamin B5, but you're also getting the other minerals and the other benefits of the bee pollen as well that you cannot get just from going into a health food store or going to Amazon and getting a little, a bottle of a bunch of little capsules of vitamin B5. Number three for your adrenals would be adaptogens. But, but what adaptogen? I can rattle off a list of 20 herbs that are supposed to be adaptogens, that people say are adaptogens, but only seven herbs in that list can be proven to be adaptogens. And one of the herbs on that list is Shizandra, Shizandra berry. 
Shazander Berry is fantastic for the adrenals. This is what you want. You want to get either the berries or if you can find an extract from a company that you trust, use that. It's going to help your adrenals and so will ashwagandha or ashwagandha if you're in India. Ashwagandha is really great for the adrenals. Shizandra, ashwagandha are food for the adrenals. It's a literal food. You're going to start seeing improvements in your energy and your health, but beware. Please do not use adrenals, excuse me, do not use herbs that are adrenal foods to attempt to continue the lifestyle that puts you in this situation of adrenal fatigue to begin with. And that's what a lot of people do. They find out about adaptogens and they start eating them like crazy. Meanwhile, their adrenal health continues to plummet because they refuse to get nine hours of restful sleep a night. They refuse to do any type of moderate exercise and they refuse to change their diet. So when they take these adaptogens, all they're really doing is continuing to burn that candle at both ends. They're ruining their health and your adrenals, like your digestion, once it starts to go south, it's a cascade of negative health effects that is very difficult to get over if you don't do some serious changes. So, the quick fix for your adrenals. Vitamin C, papayas, kiwis, mangoes, uh, acerola cherry, my favorite, amla berry. Number two, vitamin B5, pantothenic acid from bee pollen. Try and get the actual granules. Number three, the elite herbs, the elite herbal adaptogens, schizandra berry, ashwagandha. Stay away from the other adaptogens like rhodiola root. It's way too stimulating and it's going to plummet your adrenal health. So, and then we've got our nine hours of restful sleep a night for the rest of your life. That's a hard pill to swallow if you're a type A personality. You don't want to hear that you've got to have nine hours of restful sleep because you, as a type A personality, you see that as a waste. That's a waste of time. I can be out there accomplishing something and burning up this excess energy I have as a type A personality. Well, that's the problem. That's what got you into this situation in the first place. So make sure you get nine hours of restful sleep a night. Get some tarps and black out your window if you have to. Basically, you want to sleep in a cave. You don't want to have a cell phone or a clock radio illuminating your face. Keep all electronics away from you. No extension cords running under your bed. Try and get some grounding sheets to at least ground yourself while you're sleeping. And then change your diet. Clean up your diet. I don't give diet advice because people vacillate back and forth between diets. I'll just say clean up your diet. We all know what that means. No junk food. Cut out the energy drinks. Cut out the coffee. Again, that's going to be tough if you're a type A personality or if you're addicted to coffee. But please understand that coffee and energy drinks, if, if these are fixtures in your life, they're ruining your nervous system and they're ruining your adrenals. So there you have it. That is the, that is the quick fix. I could talk about adrenal health for three hours. It just goes on and on and on. Autoimmune disorders, adrenal related. Stress burns out the adrenals. There's so much I could talk about with the adrenals, but I just want to keep this, I want to make an actual short video for once in my life. So, 
food-based source of vitamin C, pantothenic acid from bee pollen, ideally. Your adaptogens like schizandra berry or ashwagandha. Be careful with the other adaptogens. And then your foundational, the, the three, three foundational areas that you should really pay attention to that are not herb related at all. Restful sleep, moderate exercise, clean up your diet. That's three of the foundational exer uh, areas of your life that you should really concentrate on doing. And if you're really in an adrenal hole, if you're just absolutely fried, you are looking at a year to 18 months to get yourself out of this situation that has been created in your life. That's a hard thing for people to hear. We want a quick fix. Well, your adrenals are miracles. You want to give them the time to rebuild and you have to be disciplined. You were probably disciplined in your life to get to the point where you were successful and to say, yeah, but I, I did so much in my life. I've built so much. Maybe you build a company. Maybe you've risen in the ranks at a company. Maybe coffee and energy drinks and lack of sleep and a crappy diet were all part of that. But you have adrenal fatigue now, and that's all got to change. You have to start looking out for yourself. So I've just given you three easy herbal ways to do it and then some foundational aspects that you need to look at. So there you go. That's your quick fix for your adrenals. My name is Sean. I am one with nature. Thank you for watching.